We have prepared this video with the purpose to introduce you to the world of sensors and actuators. During the video, you will learn the following key concepts. The definition of a sensor and an actuator, how do they work, and what are they used for. We hope you enjoy this video. First, we will explain some basic theory and key concepts that will aid us during this presentation. We will start with sensors. What is a sensor? A sensor is a device that is capable of detecting physical or chemical stimuli and transforms these magnitudes into legible and interpretable information. They allow a machine to be aware of its surroundings and interact with it. Just like we use our senses to interact with the environment, machines and robots use sensors for this task. Some examples of sensors include switches, phototransistors, photoelectric sensors, photoresistors, ultrasonic sensors, color sensors, and infrared sensors. We will move on with actuators. What is an actuator? An actuator is any element that may cause an effect over an automatic process. These devices are capable of generating force with liquids or energy, electrical or gaseous. An actuator transforms energy into movement. The device receives instructions from the interface. Some examples of actuators include motors, valves, and compressors. Now we will move on with our physical simulation. We will start with our first model. Sensors in the first model include the switch and the read switch. The switch works in a similar way to a binary code, with ones and zeros. The switch has only two outputs, pressed or not pressed. In this model, if the red switch is pressed, it will tell the interface that it has been pressed, and as a result, the program tells the motor to start. If the black switch is activated, the same thing happens, but now the motor stops. The black switch would have the role of the brake, while the red switch would take the role of the gas pedal in an automobile. The red switch has an important role in our model. If it detects magnetism, it will send a signal to the interface, which then instructs the motor to change its direction of rotation. The motor, which is an XM motor, is the only actuator in the model. It responds to the signal of the switches. We will now observe how it works. this second model, we will observe the following sensors. The photoelectric sensor, and the photoresistor, also known as a light-dependent resistor. The actuators of the mini-motor and the pneumatic system. First, we will analyze the photoelectric sensor. This sensor basically works like this. A phototransistor and a lamp are placed on opposite ends facing one another, then the lamp emits light to the phototransistor in a stable and uniform way. If this light beam is interrupted by some object, the phototransistor, which is sensitive to light, will notice this immediately because it does not receive light anymore. It will therefore send a signal to the interface. The program then instructs the mini motor to start. Subsequently, the tank will be filled with compressed air generated by the rotation of the motor. Air in the pneumatic system is then responsible of opening the door via increased air pressure. Now, we will focus on the photoresistor. This sensor is not entirely different to the phototransistor, as they both are light-sensitive. The difference between them is that the photoresistor is capable of varying its electric resistance according to the intensity of light that it receives. For example, if the model is placed in a dark room, the photoresistor will let in a higher amount of electricity into the circuit, and therefore the lamps placed here will be brighter in comparison with a model placed in a brighter room. We will now observe how it works. <laughs> 